and welcome back everyone in today's tutorial I'm going to show you exactly how to create a bitmoji banner for your Google classroom disclaimer please excuse the noise in the background I'm an educator as well as a mom so you're gonna hear children as well as animals in the background I just want you to know that in the making of this video no animals were harmed with that being said, we're going to jump right into today's tutorial. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. All right, educators, so we're ready to go ahead and start our banner creation for our Google Classroom. So we're going to head over to Google Slides. Once we are here at Google Slides, we're going to select the blank document. This is going to open up a clean page for us, and we're going to go ahead and remove these text box by selecting the first text box and then holding shift and selecting the second text box and then hitting delete to give us a blank screen. We're gonna go ahead and insert a background by going on background and choose image. Google image search instead of upload. And we're going to go ahead and search our image, wall, floor. And then we're gonna search a wall and floor that is really appealing to us and to our taste. Remember, you can recreate the classroom however you wanna recreate it. This is your classroom, this is your own pizzazz. All right, so we're gonna go with this great one and we're gonna select insert and done. Okay, so this is our background. The background is unmovable. There's no clicking around. Everything is just set. The next step that we're going to look at is formatting our page um, so that the setup is actually agreeing with the size of a banner. So I'm gonna just move my beautiful face over here and we're going to change our a setup and we're gonna to go to custom. We're gonna customize our banner to 1667 by 4.17. And then we're going to select apply. And voila, we have our banner at the right side. Now we're going to start to insert some items into our space to just bring our Bitmoji banner to life. We're gonna to go to insert, image, search the web, and the first thing that I want to look for is a window. Remember that we're searching for everything transparent so that we don't have those white borders that come along with the images. So here, that's a good one. It's my go-to window. Great. All right, another thing that you can do with um, that I love that you can do here with Google Slides, not sure if you're able to do it with PowerPoint. I can go ahead and format this image and change the color by selecting recolor and then choosing the color that I want. So I'm just gonna slide over a bit and I'm going to recolor this to teal just causes the window to stand up a bit, brings out the beauty of the window. All right, so now I'm going to insert an, an image that has to do with um, something nice, it has to do with France. So I'm going to go with the Eiffel Tower. Oh, let me remove the word transparent. We're gonna search for a really, really nice Eiffel Tower. Okay, this one is okay, I like it. And we're going to resize the image so that it fits right in the window. And we're going to format, right click on the picture, order it and send it backward. Okay, so that it just 
opens beautifully to the Eiffel Tower. The next thing we're going to insert is our desk. So we're gonna insert image, search the web, and we're going to insert a nice desk. And don't forget, transparent. We want to look for something really nice. So all right, let's try this one. We go ahead and we're going to resize it. Okay, so I'm going to change the color of my desk first. And I want to recolor it to something nice. Let's say black. Okay, so I'm recoloring the, the desk to black. And then I want to rotate the desk. Okay, so I'm going to right click and rotate. And let's say if I wanted to rotate it 90 degrees, this is what would happen. If I wanted to rotate it at counterclockwise, that it would go back to the original. And let's say if I wanted to flip it horizontally, this is what it would look like. And if I wanted to flip it vertically, this is what it would look like. So let's go back to rotate horizontally. Flip it vertically and then let's Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a seat. And I want to search the web again. I'm going to search for a chair. I love this chair right here. It looks classy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to resize our desk a little bit more to accommodate our chair resize the chair we're going to flip the chair so that it is in line with the desk guys so there you have it remember if i wanted to recolor my chair to um the color of the desk i would have to right click on the item or the image and then i can go to format options recolor and select a color that is appealing to me but i actually love the color of the chair so i am going to stick with this color now the next element that i'm going to include in my classroom is going to be a dry erase board Search for a board that I like, I like this one. Insert the board into the space. I'm going to use it here in the corner. And then I'm going to insert a text box by going to the taskbar column and then selecting text box and just resizing the text box to um, the size of the board. And I'm going to write my information in here, I'm going to say bienvenue, which means welcome in French. Bienvenue. My name there. I'm going to insert another text box where I'm going to include my contact where the students can email me if they have any questions and my email would be I'm going to resize change the size of my fonts I'm sorry change the size of my text I'm also going to change the font, I'm going to bold it. Now, in order to change the font, if you don't like 
the font. So if you want to use a different type of font, one of the things that I did was I went on to the add-ons and I added extensive font. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little tutorial about adding extensive font. I want to show you the very first thing is that we're going to go here to add-ons, which is on our taskbar. Get add-ons. And then we're going to search for the add-on, which is extensive font. When we get to extensive fonts, I want you to click extensive, select it. So it says here that the fonts are going to be added onto slides and bold stock. And so you're going to select the install. Mm -hmm. So it's going to need your permission. So you need to select continue after you've read all of that. Um, this is the account that I'm using it on, so I'm going to select the account that I'm using it on. All right, and it gives me all of that. You have to allow it. So once you've allowed it, voila, you have extended. So then we're going to go with next. Okay, done. We're done. So that is extensive font. Okay. So now that the extensive font is here, we're going to select the font by going to add on extensive font and then start. So I'm going to look for a nice font that is going to be appealing, you know, something that I want, that I like. So we're going to go to fonts and I'm going to select handwriting. There are a number of fonts that you could use here and then in handwriting, but the one that really stands out to me is Annie Use Your Telescope. So I'm going to use that for my email section and let's enlarge it a bit. Okay, let's take it down one and, and go back up again. Then we're going to move up to Bienvenue, and I'm not going to use Annie for this one. I'm actually, actually going to um, use Covered by Your Grace. It's another font that I love. Um, and I'm going to now change the size. And then I want to align it and make it center. Okay, so there you have it. And I'm going to continue to increase my Bienvenue. So I'm going to, what I'm doing here is I'm decreasing the size of the inner portion between Bienvenue and Mademoiselle Felix because it's going to stretch out my, the information in between too much space. I don't like that. So let's decrease the space. I'm going to expand this a bit. And another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add an add-on. Um, it's the Rainbow by Unicorns. So let's take a look at that, how we're going to add it on. So now that we've added on, we're going to go to add-on and we're going to select Magic Rainbow Unicorn Slides. Start. And then we want to choose the, the colors. If you want to change the colors, I'm going to just stay with the colors and I'm going to hit start the magic, start the rainbow magic. So I like the colors here that it's given me and I want to hold it a bit. So it just stands out, it brings it out, it just pops it on the board. I like it. Okay. And then we're going to look for a motivational poster. So for that, I usually scroll over to Google. Okay. And I run a Google search. Image. Go over to my Google slide document, paste the image and resize it so that it's on my wall. 
Right. We're going to search for bookshelf and it has to be transparent. And then we're going to look for a really nice bookshelf that stands out. I'll select this one. I guess it would have to do. And I'm going to place my bookshelf right here in arm's reach from my desk. Jeez, I want to insert some things on my desk, preferably a laptop. Usually, I always have my laptop with me. So I'm going to insert it. I like this one. I'm going to insert that. And then I'm going to resize the laptop so that it fits on my desk. Then I'm going to insert a plant. Flower leaves. Oh, this is nice. I like this one. I'm going to search. I'm going to use this flower vase and I'm going to resize it and I'm going to bring it over to my table and rest it on my table. So start to give my room some definition. And now my room is coming together. It's looking really nice, like super. Okay, here I am saying air hug. I'm going actually. I'm going to crop all the words air hug, but I like that my bitmoji is almost like she's trying to say welcome to the student. Let's take it back, see if we can crop out a different way. If one doesn't work, then you search out another way to get it to work. <laughs> I want to ensure that I have a little piece of my head. All right, let's see how that came out. Perfect, perfect. And you position my Bitmoji right here. And she's in the classroom now. And voila, this is our Google banner you can go ahead right here file let's move my beautiful face again we're going to go to file and we're going to go to download and download as a png to save the banner and then we're going to upload it to our google classroom all right so here we are we're going to change our banner for our google classroom this is my grade seven class so I'm going to upload a photo. Okay, so we're going to select photo from your computer. And I'm going to select my classroom banner. So here is the entire presentation that I have. Look, everything is captured. Then we're going to select class theme. Et voila, my Bitmoji banner is here. So remember the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to animate this banner. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share this video with all of your teacher friends. Thank you again. And I'll see you in the next video where we learn to animate our Google banner.